All right, so I bought I bought a computer. I bought a computer because a lot of you guys know that I have moved locations, but the only Windows computer I have, or two computers I have, are laptops that are definitely not gaming machines. We get a lot of gaming uh, controllers and some companies trying to send us RAM and stuff like that. So I'm like, I kind of need something for testing that stuff. So uh, I was searching around because back to school, good time to buy. And uh, I saw this at Costco. So regularly it is about Canadian, I think it was $1,100. They had $180 off, which is good. But for some reason, uh, I bought two of them. That's a different story. But there was some weird discount that happened if you bought a second Intel product or whatever. I think they were bouncing off each other. And anyway, I got them for like $700 each. Um, so I'm not complaining. So $1,400 for two of these. Uh, spec wise, this is the HP Victus. Victus. Uh, spec wise, you're looking at Intel, Intel Core i5. It's a 1440, uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM. Has one, uh, it says just one 16 gig chip. So that's, I think that's probably good. So if I need to, I can throw in a second 16 gig chip. That down the road, I'm going to open it up and we'll take a look at it. Uh, five 12 gigs PCI NVMe solid state drive. Uh, Wi-Fi 6, 2x2, two two, Bluetooth 5.3 card, uh, HP Finish and Micro Silver, nobody cares, uh, headphone and microphone combo port, two USB A type A 5 gigs, uh, two USB A type A 10 gigs, uh, one USB type C 5 gigs, four USB 2.0 type A, RG45, HDMI, three display ports, three display ports, uh, Windows 11 at home. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40, no, sorry, 3050. So got a crazy fast card, but you know what? It'll be fine. With six gigs of memory, uh, 5.1 surround sound you can put out on your warranty. My guess is it's going to be way faster than uh, what I have. And the big bonus is that down the road, my hope is that if I want to upgrade the video card, I should be able to. So I don't even know what this is. Let's see if I can open this box. If Costco. So set, I got it for 700 So somehow, if they, maybe if you have a friend, I got it online. Uh, if you have a friend that is like, yeah, I'd buy one of those for, for like 700 bucks. Put two of them in your cart uh, for some reason. It just goes discount crazy. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. I was expecting to spend, what was it? 920, I think it was per. Like on for, I think it was like 740 per something like that. So I mean, I don't know, something that came up to 14 to 40. So maybe seven, seven twenty per before tax, of course. Uh, so in the box, in the box, you are getting probably not a great keyword. Is it a gaming keyword? My best is you no. Know, what you guys maybe to see that there. I'll just kind of bring that around, right? That's keyword, full size keyword. That's kind of nice. So if you're someone that needs a numeric pad you have one all right that's that's a base usb 8 it's worse you get uh your other stuff they kind of able to be decent light uh manual and not a great ghost as well so that's that's something the other thing that i like is that it's i don't even know because again i'm not a pc guy uh the pretty small tower so again we will play around a little bit um down the road i'm gonna probably make a few videos on this machine so one will be of course opening up the side just to see what the components are like if they have any kind of expansion because i think expansion would be how to do it uh and then we'll do a further test of course just so we'll run some games to see if it's uh actually worth it I was looking at like Best Buy and that, and um, for the same price, you weren't getting like anything somewhat current. So I thought it was pretty good. Not during a boxing day sale, and you may do better. Who knows? Uh, here's your mouse. That's it. Exciting? No. Lucky for me. Uh, it'll be fine. I I may have to invest in maybe something better. Possibly, but I like being controller guy. I like controllers. So let's just move this to the side. This is a box. 
excitement never ends here. No different. Sometimes it never begins either, but that's okay. All right. Little eggshell thing was there. Cool. It's the 15L. The bead. This 15L. And I like the fact, again, that it's small. It's tiny. Ghibli. It's probably not much bigger than, bigger than like an Xbox Series X, to be honest with you. Stuff like that. I should almost bring my PS5 in so we can see it. But look at that. Hey, got this cool little light angle going on there. Pretty, pretty basic. I do like the front part. So you, you're going to have your power, your headphone, uh, microphone jack in the front. You're going to have your the four USBs. And your USB-C, this has got a little sticker thing. All right, that's coming off. This sir does come off. Well, it might come off. It might be the old. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Intel Core i5. And I just didn't put that right there. I think. I think. You know, if you were to want to open this, it is, oh, this is this screwed, but it's not, it's not toolless. It's not a tool the system because it can't just slide that off. But my guess would be one of these sides, possibly this slide. It just looks like it's one screw. And I don't have any screwdrivers. So we'll we'll do that in a different video. But uh, I'm gonna just set this up real fast and then uh, we'll we'll take a look at what it looks like to start. And then more videos coming coming too. All right, so all plugged in. Plugged in, this is going to be, this is still connected to my Mac, but this is connected here for now. Of course, this is not where it's going to be. It's, it'll be on the floor, but it's fine for now. Anyway, let's just turn this on. I want to see if there's any lights. First, I also want to see if it will actually turn on. Did I plug in the power cable? No, no, I did not. All okay, right, so power cable. And of course, uh, mouse and keyboard pointing in front, HDMI to this. This is a 4K display. So we should be able to get a 4K out of it, is my, my hopes and dreams. What's going there? That's going in here, somehow. Okie dokie. And let's hope for the best. We got a light. Did that? Oh, it does light up. Cool, cool thing. That's pretty. Yes, sir. Here we go. HP. Okay. The boots. That's a win. And just on a moment. I'll, I'll zip by this stuff for you real fast. All right. Looks like we have some just basic Windows e setups for language and stuff like that. Again, I'm going to go through all the registration because you guys don't need to necessarily watch me do this unless you feel like it. But uh, yeah, US is good. Uh, we'll wait till it actually does its final boot. Now, my guess is that uh, there will be a lot of updates for this as well. So we just need to connect this to a network here. Yeah, that's that's not a fantastic keyboard by any means. I do like the size. I'm going to say I do like the size. The, the, the smallness is nice. Great. So if you're like me and you are connected to a building that has like a CAPTCHA type thing where you have to agree to the network, then this, you may be in a bit of an issue. Uh, I'm going to see if I can actually connect to my phone. Uh, maybe that will be better. Oh, there it is. Just took a, a, a sweet minute. There it is. Continue to the internet. I blame, I blame this internet, not the computer. All right, anyway, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the updates and anything that it needs. And then once it does its final boot, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. Updates are happening. Yeah. It's not too bad. 12% already. Should be about a half hour, I guess. Okay. So we have this set up. I've ran all the updates took a little bit of time lots of updates um, <clears throat> but I just finished uh, doing some Geekbench scores and I actually put Geekbench up against three other computers so my original M1 MacBook Pro uh, my Mac 
book, my, my Mac Studio, the Studio Max, um, and my Huawei, uh, this is their 15 inch uh, with the 11th gen Intel i5 um, running just the base uh, Intel XE, I believe it is, uh, video card. So if we look at the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Pro that I have, uh, this is this is the the scores. This is the scores that it got. So you're looking at 1456 single core, uh, 4741 multi core. Uh, now, if you look at my uh, Huawei, a little bit faster in the single core, um, and even faster in the multi core, 6476. Now, this is not a gaming test by any means. This is Geekbench. Um, but if I were to come here and go to my Mac Studio for, uh, you'll see 2430. So we're getting pretty close to similar uh, single core speed, but because of the amount of cores in the Mac Studio, you know, you're getting 12, 647, which is to be expected that it's going to be faster than the 8000. Um, here, you're looking at 6476. So it's a little bit faster. It's a little bit faster in regards to uh, my Huawei and my MacBook Pro, for sure. Uh, definitely not as fast as the Mac Studio, but that's to be expected. Now, what I'm going to do here is with these, we're just going to shut these down and we're going to actually run the actual graphics. So the uh, CPU test. So we'll just come back into Geekbench and go GPU, same thing here, GPU, and uh, once this finishes, we'll let you know those speeds. Now we are going to do again a video on some gaming, but that's going to be in a different video because uh, my internet here is not great, and that means I'm in the process of downloading, but it's probably going to take uh, a good day to download a couple games. So that'll be a video number two, but stay tuned, we'll run the uh, uh, GPU and we'll be right back. Very luckily for us, a GPU doesn't take long. Um, so on the 11th gen with the integrated graphics card, as you can see here, we're getting 12,662. Uh, my MacBook was slightly faster, not a lot, 13 and a half. Uh, so that's pretty good. But when we go to the Mac Studio, of course, and this is running OpenSea on now, if you run Metal, uh, metal benchmark on the uh, max they go up even higher so they're they're fast uh 72 000 basically which is which is really good for open cl problem is right not a lot of gains made for it so that's that becomes a bit of an issue um again 12 uh, over here and what was it for the uh macbook pro 13. um the victus 57.5 so not too much further, you know, and both in graphics doing way better than my two laptops. So that is, that is a real perk. Now we are going to try the Heaven. I think it's called Heaven, Haven, whatever it is uh, on here as well, just to see what kind of benchmarks we get. And uh, I'm gonna do that and then we'll let you see the results. Okay, so the benchmark is done and happily uh, a nice performance boost. So you can see here, hopefully you guys can see here, this is the uh, Huawei 11th gen with the integrated XE video card. Uh, a frames per second, we're averaging about 42 and we're getting a score of 1060 with a minimum FPS of 23 and a maximum of 83. So maximum was good, but having a minimum down as low as 23, that's a little, you know, eh. But when we moved over here, now the one thing to be aware of is this is a 4K display. I did uh, do a, you'll see a custom preset because I set the monitor to 1080 so that it was pushing the same here. And really for gaming, I don't think a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop like this really has the power to be able to push 4K. So we are hitting a uh, average frames of 132.2. So that's way better. Uh, score of 33.30. Minimum was above 30, so that's good, 33.2. And maximum of 277.5. Now the minimum part I watched was 
when there was a lot of lights and dark, so a lot of shadows, a lot of shading happening. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that score. So what we'll do next, not necessarily today, of course, is we are going to uh, <clears throat> run some games on this uh, through Steam. Uh, we're gonna have a platformer, a first person shooter, uh, like a third party or third person game um, and uh, well, and a driving game for sure, just to see what it is. Now they may not be the newest and latest and greatest, but it should give us an idea of how this can perform in regards to that. Uh, we also will possibly do a video because I wouldn't mind seeing what kind of upgradability this has. I'm hoping it has some. Uh, it comes with 16 gigs of RAM, but I do want to see if there's multiple RAM slots. Uh, as well as the ability, of course, to be able to remove that video card and be able to put something in down the road. All right, guys, uh, this is the HP Victus 15L that I got from Costco. Not bad, I, I think. We'll find out more. All right, guys, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video. Later.